Getting this shit out of my way, and let's see. Raimi, what do you have to say? Yeah, a second, let's just start, start him. Look at that. If, if only you saw a fully equipped bath I could use, then I have nothing to complain about. Why a fully equipped? Isn't the bath, the bath top enough for you? Lousy bitch. What about you, Fazy? I'm gonna call you. Faze! I think it's how you pronounce the name. I better give you this before I cut at you. You got the monster jewel. It's called a monster jewel. You can build it with, with the data from the monster. You will need to collect ample data from the monster beforehand, however. Monster jewels. You can see all the data you collect from monster under the monster sector of your collection menu. Every time you kill a monster, you raise your knowledge on that monster. Once your knowledge with 100%, you can imbue a monster jewel with data of that creature. A successfully imbued jewel can be equipped as necessary, ready to wear effects based on the monster containing inside. So what? Does my web become super effective against a specific type of monster? That's either pretty neat or pretty stupid. Okay. Still the shit. Now that I look at it, this shit has these wheelies. It's either stupid or dumb. And that's pretty cool. Let's see, can I use this shit now? Ooh, now I can. Hey, Welch! Yes, sir! Oh, God. Blooming is a beautiful flower. Keep the garden shears away or I'll slap ya. You've already been contacted, right? Fuck. This is our new Aldarian crewman, FaZe. It's my buddy. What? You're just gonna ignore my joke? Damn right, you're gonna you do develop it. such advanced ignoring skills? It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. I am FaZe Shifa Beleth, an Eldarian. Shifa. Look at this, even the rookie is completely unfazed. You kids, I'll be damned. What about you? Can you? Try I to be at least kids? slightly businesslike when you meet new people, Welch. What is it? Uh, person, <laughs> boy. <laughs> it's a little late to be surprised, pal. Anyway, that's Whoa. neither here nor there. So, you're one of these aliens, huh? Space elf. Mm hmm. You don't look very different from us at all. That guy's an elf. I thought you'd be all like, you know. Give me the tasty human meat. <laughs> I, I'm sorry, Faze. She means well. I Look, think. she's a little lunatic, but she's okay, okay? No, it's all right. I'm quite used to false preconceptions. Okay, I sent something on you, Ben. Oh, I'm just kidding. Sorry, fake. Wait. Faze, fail, bitch. Anyway, fail. It's Faze. You right, go from right, fake fame. to fail to so what? about that monster? Fame. Truth is, those things are actually Earthlings, you know. Earthlings? After just two more molting seasons, Edge will be turning into one of those. So be careful you don't get eaten, okay? Ta-ta for now. Come on, Welch! Are you trying to traumatize him? Poor face. Look, she means good, okay? No one be... Uh, just so you know, that's her idea of a joke, okay? She's kind of dumb. Uh, of course, I understand. Come on, man, get a little closer. <laughs> Don't fall away from me. Come on. <laughs> uh, Damn it, well. Okay, I better write a memo in, in which you say, punch Welk in the face when I meet her first sender. I wanna use this shit. Oh, why don't I fucking need this shit? Washing interface. Oh, a new recipe, huh? Where did you get that stick? But well, whatever. You feeling frisky today? Fancy free? Me too. Shut the fuck up. Great item. Me too. Wanna make something? Okay, I need to. Ah, fuck! Sure, bought that crap. Ah. Well, fuck it for now. I got the just regret. I don't think I don't mind. I mean, I don't give a damn about it. Let's just 
Why are there shit? Okay, this seems to be possession of a little bit of penitent and ward rage. Shall we travel there? Alright then! Let's go! Let's fuck them up up in our place! Uh, try not to crush this shit while Main we're there. Main engine ports connected. Cool. Well, how does the captain's chair feel? Eh, so, and a coffee. This is how Crow sees the world. Pretty and neat, isn't it? Come on, Raimi. Being a captain means... The dude is metadized. You have to take responsibility for an entire ship. An entire crew. And yourself, don't forget that. And me. It's a heavy responsibility. Don't worry, Edge. We can handle it. Crow bears this burden every day of his life. Oh, damn Fuck it, up, position. Look, yeah, man you're up. one step closer to Crow now. Right? Yeah, I guess so. Yep. Besides, we three comprise the entire crew of the Kalmus. So we get more people. <laughs> now that you mention it, I guess we do. So listen, don't let this get to you. Just be yourself, okay? Thanks, Thanks, don't Raymond. crash this shit. One day, I'll be able to bear this responsibility properly. I swear it. Good. Now let's fly this junk. Star Ocean, here we come. Captain, launch preparations complete. Likewise, ready to depart. What All the right. fuck is a Star Ocean? Kalnis, engage! Yes, <laughs> sir! And here we go, people! Oh, by the way, Edge, the ship's on autopilot through world space, so get as much rest as you want. Oh, thanks, Raze. Phase, I mean. Okay, what else? We have an incoming message, Edge. Oh, I don't recall either I mentioned it, but the Kalnus has been equipped with a Dardarian Gravitational Bypass Communication System. In other words, we can use communication while we're running warp, though of course there'll be a slight delay. Anyway, let's listen to the message. Remy, play back that crap. Edge has income transmission for moon use. Moon base. Can we just say the captain's off duty? Well, I guess not. Well, fine, bring it up. Roger that, good luck. Sorry, I did. Oh, god damn it, it's fucking Shimada. Sorry, you're not the captain of the Cardinals, are you? Captain Edge Maverick, sir. I was appointed by the Commander Graffin of the Explosion Base. I don't remember asking your name. Ugh. I was told you were a competent candidate, but it seems to me you're still just a boy. Really, first a mission captain of a kill, and now you. I am to believe this your SRF has no wonder, has no one better fit for the station. I may be young, sir, but I assure you, I will fulfill my duties to the utmost. So you don't get it, do ya? What we are after here is concrete resource, boy. So successful exploration space exploration how we obtain that service is of no consequence to me i don't care how do it is if you don't show me results you show me nothing yes sir i'm aware of that are you you are are you uh tony i'm a tarnished you can make such a claim after the string of failures of suffer i don't know on your very first mission the deputy director, with all due respect, step down, first officer Sayonji. This is none of your concern. My apologies, commander, captain. <laughs> your first officer is a slave of a girl. What do you think? We're playing house here? Dude, what the fuck? We have no intention of playing anything at all, sir. The future rests on the success of this mission. And uh, not just our own futures. We're responsible for the futures of every single human being on Earth. Well, you, you can't talk the talk, I'll give you that, just don't do anything to make me look bad, you understand? 
Whew. Well, talking all formal like that makes me real tense. What's that man your superior? It was quite, um, nasty. It's okay, you don't have to mind his words with us. Most people in the used to think so too. I see. You really didn't let him get to you, Edge. I'm amazed at how composed you were. Well, it's true. We haven't actually produced any results yet. What do you think will happen if the Daldarians weren't there to save us? I'm searching for all done all you could. And I'm in the process. Sure, but you wouldn't be in enough. Shemar was right about that, at least. It's imperative that we succeed in our mission for the sake of all living such as miserable resistance on Earth. Until we can say we accomplished that, I'll take whatever Shimada wants to dish out. Edge. Hey, it's not a big deal. It was Rose, right? Then let's give him results and will make his head spin. Now that's my edge. Indeed, yes. Positively is true admirable. Yeah, let's fuck him up. What now? Oh, good. Well, this will remain to the same 80%. Okay, everyone is what, on a lunch break? Come on guys, invite me to. Look. What are you up to? I was really... No, I was just telling Phage about Crow. Crow? Yes, I found his story in Crete. I told you to grow up together and that you think of him as an elder brother. Ha! Totally in Edge case, is more like a best friend. Is that so? Not really a brother or best friend, it's more of... Well, it's like a rival I have to overcome. My rival, huh? I guess he always did beat you up in fencing, and athletics, and marksmanship. Heck, even rock, paper, scissors. Sure, just go ahead and count my feelings. Well, he did pass his SRF selection exam in the absolute top of his class, and is also the youngest captain ever to hold the position. Now that's impressive. Yeah, it really is. That's exactly why I have to best to best him. Well, well, so you admit this hot stuff after all, huh? Put the sock in it, Raimi. A man is just skill leave an engine knowledge. Your friend Crow is sounding more intriguing with each passing minute. I should very much make his acquaintance. We'll meet him soon enough, I'm sure. If the guy's alive. We're all taking part in the same mission after all. I'm looking forward to it. Okay, lunch break is over, man. Fuck it. Fuck it. You guys have to be fucking kidding me. Together with humans of Earth, voyaging through the Star Ocean. I never dreamed something like this was possible. Much less of being able to travel with a man like you, Edge. What an absolute one. I can tell you all the right I am. Now, where's Remy? Remy! I know she's upstairs. I think. Oh, so I can point rooms for my people. Nice! Okay, everyone get his own fucking room. Just because we are just... Three. Examine. Look at C7 side we put here. I don't have anything like that. No, the only thing I have to do is find Raimi. I'm busting, I don't care, hey Raimi! What's in your mind, Raimi? You're staring into space. When I'm just singing in the ship doing nothing, I will. I start thinking about how far we travel, you know? Yeah, well, yeah, we have left the solar system after all. When we were asleep at the SRF and I set foot on the moon, I thought about how far we came. But now we're light years beyond that. Everything here is so completely foreign to us. We're really in no territory, you know. For some reason, 
It frightens me. Look, Mother Brain and Ridley are not a thing on this universe, okay? So calm your tits. But that's our SRF mission. We are here to find a new world to take the place of Earth, right? That's just it. That's what I'm most scared of. Look, aliens are not a thing. Okay? Like the Xenomorphs. And the Predator. And the E.T. itself, okay? Okay, fuck it. The E.T. is okay. The future of England of Earth rides on the, on the success of our mission. We can afford to fail. Sometimes when I'm alone like this, I feel like the weight of the responsibility is going to crush me. I hear you. I wouldn't get so worried about it, though. Huh? It's not like you're supposed to accomplish this mission all by yourself. I'm here, crows out there somewhere. We got our friends in ourselves, we, and we got new friends too. Friends we meet out here in space. Hmm. These unknown territories is actually where we met them, right? It's just a big deal when you think about it that way. Edge. Sometimes you are alone if you don't just pick up. All right. I'm um, in this with you all the way. Thanks, Edge, and definitely keep that in mind. Boop, boop, boop. Okay. I don't need training, okay? Yeah. I think we're what, in the 50? Uh, 40. Ah, dang it. I have to talk to everyone just this shit to reach the planet. Oh, fuck it. Okay, what next? The first contact between Enerys and Earthlings, you say? Yeah, wouldn't you be curious about the first contact between your home planet and anyone life? Oh yeah, I kind of wonder about that too. I wasn't involved in an event myself and thus don't have a great deal of knowledge about it, but I heard that things were quite difficult. It reportedly took some time to adjust our translators and the first mere communication was a try in itself. Even afterwards, the proceeding was apparently quite complicated. I'm not really sure how to phone this but It said the people of Earth were somewhat suspicious and close-minded, and they refused to listen to what we have to say in a straightforward manner. So, yeah. Humans are like that, but the hell you mean by that? Well, of course, it was those open to rational discussion. Wait, what are you guys discussing about uh, the mechanics of League of Legends? But they proven to be in the minority. Huh. In any case, we now maintain healthy relations. We must be thankful to those who pave our paths, Earthling and Nurian we like. Well, Earth really does have all kind of person, people. Earth really does have all kind of people. So like most of most of the ones you people deal with like a lot like Shimada. Shimada? Oh, you mean your superior officer? Yes, yeah, the species of everyone not willing to listen. A subordinate idiot in other words. Watch your mouth, Edge. Do you think the others our members walk around casually lying to the superiors like that? Uh. We have such terrible values as well. Our plans may be different, but it seems so many people are much the same. That being the case, I can only consider myself lucky. Both of you were accepting of me right away. Well, I don't know about right away. Oh? Remember when we met the ALS? We were attacked by that weird creature, and you fought together with us. I do. As we stood together against that monster, and I saw what, what kind of skills you had with the play, I feel like I can trust this guy. So you think it took us getting attacked for you to actually be able to trust face? Well, when you put it that way, my skills with the blade. I for one knew I could trust face immediately. Well, easy for you to say now after the fact. No, I wonder did you just me by my sword war catch? Thanks, face. Okay, what else? Man, I can't wait to fill this ship with all the people. 
I don't even know who the rest of the teams, who the rest of the persons are. But I don't know we have an angel-like girl, a echo bitch, a lolly, I think, and a fucking hot milf elf, and a robot. And this is co coming only for a picture I have on my phone. I think it's in the thumbnail for episode one as well. I think you have the ca I think you have the full cast in there, and I just can't wait to actually meet the people. Okay, yeah. Do all Adrenalis fight with the sword like you face? No, we receive training based on our latent abilities. To make a long story short, I show potential for the sword. Of course, many of my brethren use firearms, and there are even some unusual Hellrun folk who fight with scythes. That's pretty scary. I guess it's like how I was bearing with a bow and a gun. Something like that, yes. It's excellently edge. Why do you prefer a blade? Huh? If you don't mind my asking, I would like... I should like to know. There, there may be aspects of swordplay I can learn from you. Um, no special reason, really. No. There was an event that made me, that made Edge use a damn sword. Well, this was a bit of a trauma I went through. Trauma? Yeah, something that happened with my late father, Uncle Arnold. Arnold. Okay, I'm not gonna mock names now. My father was a scientist, an adventurer. I lost my mother when I was still very young, but my father and I traveled the farthest reaches of Earth until I was around... until I was about six. I see. It's foreign that you were able to receive training at such a young age. But we got attacked while we were traveling by a biological weapon left over from the war. Uh, what? My father got hurt really bad, and I was the only one who could help him. I grabbed his gun and returned fire, but I was just a kid after all. I couldn't stand a lead. I couldn't land a single shot at that thing. When I ran out of bullets, I pulled out my knife, almost without thinking. Looking back, it was even stupider than trying to fight with a gun, but I don't know. It was a miracle. Somehow, I drove the monster off. So I guess that's my reasoning. That's why I rely on the sword instead of the gun. In the end, I was unable to save my father, but the blade protect me. If I'm ever able to protect anything, you will be with a blade. That's how I feel. Ouch. <laughs> what's the long, what's with the long faces? I never knew. I'm so sorry. No, Remy, it's not your fault. I was the one who asked Edge about it. Don't worry, it doesn't bother me anymore. But I'm telling I'm fine, really. I'm prepared now. Edge. Edge. I swear by this blade I put everything precious to me. I won't let my weakness hurt anyone ever again. Please tell me we're already there. Now approaching the Shinichi coordinates. Please prepare though for warp out. Let's go people! We entering the target planet's atmosphere. Now initial landing procedures. Analyze the planet atmosphere. Does it look you will pose any problems? Ask careful light saying you want to land. I'm sure hope isn't anything like those incident on AOS. Yeah, it might be even scarier. Like something your bow is totally useless against. And that's not funny. Ten seconds to touchdown. Landing gear is locked. Craft civilization confirmed. Touchdown in five. Four. Three, two, and one! Touch now, confirm. We land on the planet, starting the planet. Alright, people! Air composition confirm. 7, 8, and something percent nitrogen. 20, and something percent oxygen. 1 point whatever. Ar what the fuck is argon? 0, 0.0 whatever car carbon dioxide. Wow, it's almost like Earth. 
Okay, amazing. Infrared search. So life from is a fair heat sources in tune of one kiloton radius. Nice. What about you, Faith? What do I have to say? This is rather a cold po planet just when you're judging by the temperature. Can't wait to see what the local civilization like. Alright, people. Put it in. Alright, all hands. We're setting off on a new mission. On a mission to explore this planet civilization and living environment. Let's go! Man, this planet sucks. Hmm? It sucks bad. Look at this. Look at this photo. Just my imagination? Ah, man, you're right out of something. Oh, what the hell is this? 